What's up everybody, Jack here, and today we're gonna do a video about marketing your courses on Udemy. Ali Hadir here had a wonderful comment that outlines a lot of the problems that Udemy instructors face, especially as they begin their careers on Udemy. So we're going to address this comment and use it as the root of what the rest of this video is about. All right, so first let's read the comment. Hey Jack, hope you're doing great. I saw you reply to, reply to Jane Coff's comment under this very video where you pointed out exactly why Jerry Banfield was banned from Udemy. You've also mentioned that creating a free coupon for your course and sharing it won't get you banned because it's one of the ways of promoting your Udemy courses. I have a humble request for you. Can you make a video on us and tell it about what are the possible ways to promote your Udemy course without getting banned? And what are the things you must avoid while promoting your Udemy course? I'm requesting these questions because in Jerry's video, the link to which you've shared in reply to Jane's comment, he clearly says, do not promote your Udemy courses, promote your own platform. Maybe I've misunderstood that, but can you please answer the questions that I've requested above? All right, so first off, let's address who Jerry Banfield is. Um, Jerry Banfield is a very prolific YouTuber in that he creates like between four and eight videos per day. Um, so he makes loads and loads and loads and loads of content. He used to be one of the biggest Udemy instructors. Like if you search for Jerry Banfield Udemy, then you can see his videos about that. Like he had 2,400 something videos on Udemy, which is insane. And he earned like loads of money, like 600 something thousand. Yeah. $571,000 from Udemy. Crazy, right? So he's a very established Udemy person, okay? And he says that you shouldn't promote your Udemy courses, promote your own platform. And what he's getting at here is that any time you are promoting Udemy or Skillshare or any other platform, you are putting your eggs in one basket, so to speak. Um, a platform can always ban you, and sometimes you will get banned for things that you didn't do. Like, that's what happened to me on Skillshare. I was invested in Skillshare, putting in a lot of time and content on YouTube as well, and I got banned for something I didn't do. This is a reality when you're using platforms like Udemy or Skillshare, and this is a risk that we take by using these platforms. So. It's not that I don't agree with Jerry, I'm just saying that as a person who right now is focused on Udemy, I know I am taking the risk that I'm relying on Udemy. And ultimately, it is better to have your own website and promote that and bring traffic to that. That is a more stable option for you in the long run. However, in my case, I already have Udemy income and I want to grow it a little bit before I start focusing on my own websites. That being said, that is the end goal, so to speak, is to have your own website with your own content that you promote because then you can't get banned. And it doesn't literally have to be your own website. You could use a platform like Thinkific or Teachable. These basically allow you to create your own website um, that has a course, okay? So now let's get to what you can do on Udemy to promote your courses. First, let's talk about coupons. What are coupons? Well, a coupon is a link that sets your course to a specific price. So let's test that real quick. For example, I could use this link and then open an incognito tab. And if I go here, you're going to see that the course is $49.99, okay? So it appears as $50, at 75% off of 200 bucks, okay? Whereas if I check out this link the same way in an incognito tab, then we can see it is $9.99, $10, the cheapest a Udemy course can be. Whereas if I use this link, then we can see that the course would actually be free. See? So coupon codes are special links that change the price of your Udemy course. So keep in mind that on Udemy, you have organic sales, which are sales that happen on Udemy, and you have sales from your coupon codes, aka sales that you have brought to the platform. 
anytime you sell your course with one of these coupon codes, you will get almost all of the money. You will get 97%. So say that you sell, I sell one of these courses using this $49.99 link, then I would receive like $47 or $46, 49.99 times 0 0.97 equals 48 bucks, okay? So if I sold it for 50 bucks, I would get $48, almost all of it, right? Whereas if Udemy sells the course, then I only get half or a quarter of what Udemy sells the course for. So if Udemy sells the course for $10, I may get between two and $5. On average, it's about $4. However, Udemy is changing the way it does pricing in the future. There's another video. I just put a card in this video so you can check that out where I talk all about the new changes that are happening on Udemy regarding pricing of courses because it's about to get a little bit more dynamic where course price on organic Udemy, again, separate from coupons, will be based on course size and reviews and they will try and sell your course for more. Udemy has a history right now of selling the course really cheap. So every organic Udemy sale you get, maybe you only get four, five, or six dollars per sale. Whereas in the future with these new changes, if you have a really long course with a lot of content that people really like, Udemy is gonna try and sell your course for 50 bucks or $100. So instead of getting four or six dollars per sale, you'll be getting 10, 20, or 40 bucks per sale, okay? That being said, I'm confident that you now understand what coupons do. They allow you to claim the credit for the sale you get 97% of the revenue, and you can change the price depending on the coupon code. It also allows you to track which coupons you've used and see how effective your campaigns are. Let me give you an example here. You can see that this code is labeled Google Trends, GG, Google Turns. So usually I make coupon codes that refer to the style of campaign that I use these campaign these co coupon codes for, right? So here we see that this is promotional email too. So this means that I sent a promotional email out on Udemy giving away this coupon and that led to one sale because it originally started at 100. One person bought it using this coupon code. So that means that I got $8.89 or however much is 97% of $9.99, okay? Whereas you can see here, this Google Trends code, this has been used twice because this started out at 1,000 and this one has been used five times. So each of these were shared in different places and I can track their effectiveness by looking at this page and seeing how many times they get used after creation of the coupon code, okay? So now that you understand how you can use coupon codes to claim most of the revenue for your purchase, and you also understand that that is a separate system from Udemy's organic sales, right? You can sell the course, and when you sell it, you get 97% of what you sell it for. Whereas when a sale occurs organically on Udemy, like in my case, it would be like this. Somebody goes to Udemy, and they search for something, right? Like, let's say, Jack Pittman Screencast. Okay? And then they find this course and they purchase it. That is considered an organic sale, okay? And it means that I'm only going to receive roughly $4 per sale, okay? Because in this case, they would have sold it for like $12, okay? And I get roughly half of that or less if an affiliate of Udemy sold it because then you split your remaining 50% after the split with Udemy, you also split it with an affiliate marketer, so then you get 25%, okay? So you guys get it. You understand there's coupon codes. These allow you to control the price of your course, and then there's also organic traffic, okay? So now, before we get into some of the nitty gritty rules of when you're allowed to share coupon codes on Udemy and when you're not, let's make one thing really clear. You do not ever want to have a free course on Udemy. 
always, always, always use paid courses. And if you want to give your course away for free, then use free coupons on your paid courses. If you create a free course on Udemy, it will be hoarded by free course hoarders as soon as it goes live. You will get hundreds of signups every day for the first week or two as all of the course hoarders sign up for your course. Unfortunately, the vast majority of these people are not going to even watch your first lecture. This is going to mess your analytics up. So even though it may be exciting to get 100 signups, nothing's going to happen because the vast majority of those signups will not even take your first lecture. All that they're doing is hoarding the course. So you can mitigate the negative effect that this has on your analytics by creating it as a paid course and then choosing to use coupons to give the course at a set price. This is why you should also have your course be at the maximum price of $199.99. The reality is it will never sell that high. You can determine the price of the course, the base price here. And you should always use the most expensive one because again, it will never sell for that full price. There is always a sale, there is always a coupon, there is always something that allows you to get the course much cheaper, okay? So now you understand that there is organic sales on Udemy and there's a coupon system where you can claim 97% of the revenue as long as you brought the traffic to Udemy. And that's the part that you have to understand. If you did not bring the traffic to Udemy, you cannot share a coupon code. This means that you cannot share coupon codes in Udemy itself. You cannot message your students and give them coupon codes because this is considered working around the system. Udemy has brought those students to you. So it's not fair that you use a coupon code on those students and claim it as your own traffic because they are not your traffic. It came from Udemy Organic, okay? And that is the part that you have to understand. Any time that you convert a Udemy organic student into a coupon code student, that is a potential to get banned or in trouble on Udemy. So let's go over the rules here so that you can be really solid on your understanding of this. So there are two exceptions to these rules and we'll go over those in a second, but for now, you can send coupon codes only via promotional emails or to your own audience outside of Udemy. So you can put them on YouTube, you can use email marketing, you can share them on Facebook, you can share them on any platform that's not Udemy. Remember, coupon codes are used to show that you are bringing the traffic from somewhere outside of Udemy. You cannot use coupon codes to convert organic traffic on Udemy. So basically, if you're sharing the coupon code and it's not being shared on Udemy, you're emailing it, it's on Facebook or whatever, you're fine. The only exception here is if there is a message from a buyer or a student saying, hey, can you email me a coupon code? And then if, it, if they then get a free coupon code for your course or something, then in this scenario, maybe you could get in trouble with Udemy because Udemy can see that the student asked you to message them outside of the platform, which is a violation, and the student then signed up for your course with a coupon code. So you have to be very careful. Don't ever email a student if they have asked you to on Udemy because that's traffic that originated on Udemy. And if that student gets a sign up from you from a coupon code, that could look sketchy to Udemy. So you have to be careful. But aside from that, you can show them all you want on Facebook, on YouTube, and all these other platforms. And you actually want to do this. After I explain these rules, we're going to get into how social proof works on Udemy, which is the key to getting those Udemy organic uh, sales to really, really grow. Okay? So, you are not allowed to include coupon codes in any of the following areas. On the course landing page, the educational announcements, in the course materials, direct messages to students, or in questions and answers in your courses, okay? 
that's quite important. However, there actually is one exception to this rule, and that is called the bonus lecture. The last video in your course is considered a bonus lecture by Udemy. So you are allowed to add a, a, a separate section. It would look like this. I could do something like bonus, okay? And then I would add another section here, call it bonus section, all right? And now I would put this lecture here. In this specific video, you are allowed to share coupon codes, even though it is a chance to convert Udemy organic traffic into your own traffic. This is the one of two exceptions that Udemy has to allowing you to convert their traffic into your own traffic and get paid for it. The reason they allow this is because the vast majority of students won't make it to the last lecture and the amount of them who actually do are gonna be really serious and committed to you. So you have to put in a decent amount of work at that point for them to get to this point. So Udemy is more open to giving you more credit and letting you claim the next purchase that that student makes on one of your other courses using a coupon, okay? The only other place that you are allowed to share coupons is in a promotional marketing campaign, okay? So let's look at how you would go about doing one of those. On Udemy, if you go to your instructor dashboard, which looks like this, then there's this thing called uh, tools here. But that's not what we want. We actually want to look at communication, I believe, yeah. So communication and then announcements. So you are allowed to send four educational announcements per month. These educational announcements cannot contain coupon codes. They only must have free information. You cannot have any links to other courses using a coupon code. However, in promotional emails, you are allowed to have a coupon code. So you can send two promotional emails out every month to all of your students and include coupon codes in these emails. When you do this, it is much more advantageous if you have a lot of courses because then you can send all of your different course students promotional emails and in give coupons to all of your different courses in these emails. That will allow you to get your existing students to purchase your other courses. This becomes much more effective as you have more coupons, okay? So now that you understand some of the pros and cons of coupons, let's talk about how social proof works on Udemy. Because basically, the holy grail of Udemy is to get Udemy to promote your courses. Okay, you can see that in my best month, I did $1,530 on Udemy. Now it has crashed a lot because I stopped focusing on Udemy. And also eBay made some changes that changed the perception of the dropshipping, which is the main course I have on Udemy. But now what I want to show you is the differences between the organic sales and the promotional sales, okay? So if I go all the way back to the beginning of time here, we can see that earlier, my promotions accounted for most of my sales, okay? The green, the light green you see, this is my promotions, whereas the blue is Udemy Organic, all right? And basically what happens is you're going to get little to no Udemy Organic sales in the very beginning, but once you show social proof, you bring some sales through promotions, then Udemy will start to market your course. And you can see that it's completely possible for the Udemy organic sales to become even more than your own promotions. We can see that my promotions were $600 here. Let me zoom in a bit more for you guys. $600 here, $700. 700 while Udemy Organic is almost 500. So in the beginning, my promotions always exceeded Udemy Organic. Whereas if we get past this point, 
my promotions start to decline completely because I stopped drop shipping. But from that point, I'd established a bunch of social proof. So you can see that Udemy organic traffic grew a bunch, even though my promotions were quite little. And you can see that now to this day, I receive more sales from Udemy organic traffic than from everything else. Udemy organic traffic now represents over 50% of the sales that I receive. It's all about using coupon codes to bring traffic to your course to get those initial students, to show Udemy that students are interested in your course, to get more reviews, to get more active students. Once you've done all of this, then Udemy will start to push and market your course. And you can listen to other instructors, and in general, as a rule of thumb, you'll often be told that if you bring X over the next two months, Udemy will bring 2X. Meaning, if you bring 10, dollars in promotions over the next two months udemy will bring twenty dollars in organic sales to you that's a really general number so it's not always accurate but it does kind of show how the system works all right man thanks ellie for your comment and i hope this video was useful if any of you guys are interested in more udemy content and other course creation content this is now what I do full time. Right now I'm focused on Udemy. I have a lot of content about Skillshare as well. And moving forward, I will be moving on to hosting courses on my own platforms and showing you guys about all of the marketing. Subscribe if you're interested in more of this content. If you guys would like and if you comment in the video, I will also show you how to market your courses using Google AdSense, which is a good option, particularly if you've created a promotional video for your Udemy course. So if this is something you guys are interested in, comment below and I'll make it as the next video. And subscribe if you wanna catch my next video. So it'll be something about course creation, or earning online or living in Nicaragua, okay? And as always, if you are interested in talking to me face-to-face, -face, I have options for you. You can go to Calendly, calendly.com slash Jack Dermot Pittman. And from here, you'll be able to pick between a free public call that is recorded and put on my YouTube channel or a private call that costs $20 per 30 minutes, okay? So basically, you can talk to me about anything, and you have two options to do so. You can pick my brain, whatever you want. You can market your product, anything you want, okay? If you want it to be free, then you have to let me record you and publish it to my YouTube channel. If you don't want it to be recorded, then you have to pay me $20 per 30 minutes of time spent, okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time, effort, and attention. Don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. See you next time. Ciao!